cracked, dry, and uncomfortable lips like this are fairly common during these cold winter months. But I've seen my own family members applying lip products throughout the year for their chapped lips, and I've been waiting a long time to do this video. So, can you get addicted to lip treatments? I'm gonna talk about that. Things that you should maybe avoid if you have chapped lips and also give you some options that are recommended by dermatologists. Stay right there. My name is Charlotte and you are watching Burst TV. In the dental field, we're used to seeing dry, cracked, infected lips. And a lot of times the source is a medical condition. So I'm gonna list those right here. You can pause this video, take a screenshot if you want, and I'll move along. So if you suffer from chronic dry lips, you might wanna consider those medical situations first and go from there. Symptoms like dry lips are usually just a big red flag to cue you in to investigate further. It's a really cool thing that your body does to get you the help that you need. And a lot of times these are conditions that you don't have so much control over. So work with your medical and dental team to look at the cause of these symptoms and find a solution if possible. Now lips are actually pretty fascinating. Your vermilion is the pinkish tissue right here that's real soft. And it's made up of a blood filled modified mucous membrane, but it's only like three to five layers thick. So it's pretty delicate. Whereas the rest of the skin on your face is like 15 or 16 layers thick. Don't quote me on that. Now we've got a vermilion border, which is the outline of your lips. We have a cupid's bow right here, this little V shape. And then the corners are called commissures. And cell turnover in your lips is actually pretty fast. Your lips are able to repair themselves pretty quickly and they actually have oil glands. So most of the time we ha don't have to do much to keep them comfortable and healthy. But a lot of you are actually doing things that cause damage to your lips. And it creates a vicious cycle where you're trying to make them feel better and you're doing things to them, which actually makes it worse, which makes you want to treat them. It's it's not pretty. So what are those things that you're doing? Well, you're staying in the sun too long without using an SPF, biting or chewing on your lips, and then licking on your lips because they feel dry is actually counterproductive because there's an enzyme in our spit that can dry them out even more. Wearing lipstick or irritating lip balms, using harsh or drying products like camphor, menthol, or salicylic acid. They feel so nice and cool and refreshing and clean, but they're not really helping you. Sorry, not sorry. So with so many products on the market that have cute packaging and great advertising and wonderful colors and scents and flavors, how do you know what to choose? I read way too many clinical abstracts, <laughs> watched way too many YouTube videos, and I'm here today to share some tips from dermatologists. So generally chapsticks and lip balms, they feel good, instantly and you get into this habit of using them even when you don't need them. So it's not a chemical addiction, but it definitely is an addiction by way of a habit. You get this instant gratification and you do it more. Problem is your lips can actually adapt and these oil glands that are in your lips, they start to not work as well. They're just not allowed to moisturize themselves. So they're saying to you, help me help you. What can you do? First start by just really reading the ingredients, especially if you're suffering from dry lips. If you never have dry lips, like you don't have to worry about it so much, but if you have dry lips, read the ingredients. If you can, try to steer clear of cinnamon, artificial sweeteners, various mints and essential oils that could dry you out, and salicylic acid. Even castor oil can cause you some problems. And watch out for fragrances because they do cause some allergies. It's a very delicate type of tissue. Now, lip masks, the majority of them, they can feel great, but they can also dry your lips out. And they can remove the top layer. So if you've only got three to five layers, removing a one is kind of a big deal. So if you're gonna put something on your lips overnight, make sure that they have humectants, which are like intense moisturizers. Two products that I constantly hear about are the CeraVe Healing Ointment and Vaseline Lip Therapy. Now, I love shopping on Amazon and testing out new products. So I got three, um, just random ones that are in the top 10 that dermatologists recommend. So I wanted to treat myself and I got the Drunk Elephant. The packaging is cute, um, but this is supposed to be actually really good for you. It was $18, so I might need to skip eating out one time but it's got avocado oil and vitamin C and tripeptides, which is supposed to help make your lips look fuller. 
Oh, it's really smooth. I gotta clean my lips before I go to the next one. So here we have the Burt's Bees Overnight Lip Treatment. This one was $8. This is a natural overnight intensive lip treatment. The idea is that you put this on right before you go to bed, let it really soak in for a number of hours. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. It does have a little bit of a minty thing going on though. Last but not least, we've got Aquaphor Lip Repair. Just over $4, super affordable. I'm sure it's a lot less expensive if you just actually go to the store. <laughs> it's a tried and true product with a ton of clinical evidence to back it up. It has shea butter, chamomile, and a handful of other vitamins that support lip health. And the nice thing about all of these is that they create a nice barrier to the point where you don't want to lick your lips. So if you're lick lipper, it's good to put one of these on to remind yourself not to do that anymore. And you can use this all day, every day. It's not gonna cause you additional problems. It's highly recommended by dermatologists. Now, just out of respect, I am not gonna name the product that all of my brothers and sisters seem to be addicted to, but leave your guesses in the comment. But you should see how quickly one of those sticks comes out of a pocket if another brother or sister misplaces theirs, or if someone takes it and hides it to play a joke on them. All right, that's it guys. My lips feel amazing. I hope you learned a little something, got inspired to look at your own habits, perhaps. Come back next week for another segment of Burst TV. Take care. Got 99 problems, but chap lips ain't one. What is, what's that? All day, all day today. Hey, that hair wants to be seen. Hello.